Hello, I'm David. Welcome back. Today I am talking about all of the clearance plants that we just bought that I'm getting ready to plant today. So I will tell you and show you what I got and tell you a little bit about them and then I will show where everything is going and then I will plant them up and that'll be it. So yesterday we went to the store without like really any intention of getting anything. There's some spots that like we want to fill still around and there's just a bunch of empty spots in our garden, which I was going to say and mention that at the end of the season, a lot of the times when, when we buy our plants is when they go on sale, when the summer is coming to a close or whatever. And that's not necessarily happening right now. So while that is a great idea and you should do that later, and I'm sure we will do the same and then I'll show you again what we get when stuff does go on sale. But this place happened to have a duck nesting in around their all their plants and apparently she is eating a lot of them. So they just want to put them on sale and get them out of there just so they can still make money on them and just not have it be a danger to their customers apparently. So I'm gonna show you what we got there that was on sale and then we'll go from there. So the first one is just this daisy. It's just a gerber daisy that, you know, full sun plant. It'll get 10 to 24 inches tall and 12 inches wide and it flowers spring through autumn. But this isn't even for us. My mom just got this. So she's gonna plant it up and give it to a friend that she's going to a dinner party tonight. So it's just kind of like you know, a friendly gift. So then the next one is these and look at that price 63 cents so we have a lot of these already along the side of the house um just planted them up because i bought them one day when they were like three dollars each and now they're 63 cents but i don't necessarily know where we're gonna put these yet my mom just bought them because you really can't have too many the next one is this creeping thyme which i really love but we don't have any in our own garden i planted up my friend kate's front yard a couple weeks ago and we put four or five of them kevin and i we planted it up and I really liked them. And we have a lot of rocks up front and then around here. And creeping time is really good for creeping over the rock and it's a really cool look. And we don't really have anything around the rocks right now that like goes with them. So we thought that it would be really cool and we're gonna try this one out. And if we like it, we're probably gonna go back and get more eventually. But we're gonna try this one out in the front because they do need a lot of sun and by our rocks, there are a lot of trees. So they don't necessarily get the eight plus hours that they need, but we are gonna give it a shot and we'll see how that goes. So the next one is just this dianthus plant. We got like four, I think, of them because we already have one of this exact same kind and it's beautiful. It's flowering like crazy right now and it's already really big. So it's gonna actually go right back here as well by our Coreopsis and our Salvia. So a nice little pink pop will go well with the yellow and the purple that is back there already. And then the next one I have actually never heard of myself, but it is called a set Cresia, but I believe it's called a juice something. I've heard people say it call that before, but it looks like this really tropical purpley. It had a flower on it yesterday, but it's not there anymore, but it's a little bit dowdy right now. So we have to get it in a pot quickly, but this one needs three to six hours of daily sun and it's going to get eight inches tall and supposedly 16 inches wide, which the pot I'm putting it in is not going to allow for that. But that's all right. I'm sure it'll be fine and it'll grow and hopefully bounce back from this because right now it's not looking too hot. And then second to last is this one, this hookera. So I just cut these bushes in all of our evergreens the other day. It took me all day, but around them, like you see, and I'll show you better, but around them, there's really nothing in front of them. So we got five of these really like coral color, pretty hookeras that are going to go in front of them and give a little swoop because you see right here even. Some of the evergreens have a little hole in them, so they're not like super lush like all the tops of these are. So the front right here where my hand is, like these will fill in and hopefully cover up all those holes and grow really big. These ones need four to six hours of sun, which is a perfect spot for, because the sun goes this way and it'll get a little bit of gap in the day. It's about to hit it right now, actually. And these will get 10 to 12 inches tall and you're supposed to spread them 12 to 14 inches apart and they're hardy to zone four, which we're a zone five B. So they'll be happy. We only have one other hooker actually in our garden and we're about to move it because the spot that it's in is the only thing there and we're kind of re-upping that whole area. I'll show you it when we're doing that whole thing. I'll probably just do a video about it. I have seeds going inside right now that I'm going to put over there, but we're that is the only hooker that we have right now and we don't really ever take care of it up to this point and it's always come back every year. So we're trying to find a new spot for it right now because it doesn't look like these so we don't want to put it with them but I do love hookera. So I'm really excited to have these new coral ones in and see them from, cause we sit right here on the back porch every day. And we can see it from our back door. So it's really gonna be nice to have this big swoop of them just to see every day. And then the last plant that I have actually never heard of myself, but we saw it and it is just beautiful. It is this massive, it's called 
Amalva Zabrina. And supposedly it's a perennial, zones five through 10, which, you know, we're a 5B, so that should be okay, hopefully. But like I said, I've never seen it before, never grown it myself, but it's got these like white and pink flowers, but then on the same plant, they have the darker pink and purple. But it is this massive plant is the, by far the biggest one we got. And we're gonna put it up front because there's another one that we want to move that is a hardy geranium that kind of just goes all over the place and it doesn't look really tidy. We're gonna move that one and put this in its spot. So I probably won't do this today just because where we're putting the geranium isn't ready yet. So I don't wanna move that and then put this here and not have somewhere to go. But this says that it gets 18 to 24 inches tall. So it's gonna be massive. So it'll go behind the evergreens up front and it'll stick up above them, which is really awesome. Hopefully if it survives, but I just thought it was super, super, super pretty. So now I'm gonna go lay everything out, the stuff that I am planting today and show you guys where everything's going and then I'll plant it up and then I'll show you everything after. This is what I decided for the Hoopera as well as the Dianthus. So like I said, the three evergreens right here, I was gonna do the five in a swoop along and then they'll grow in and fill in because it looks like they're far away from the bushes right now. And then hopefully eventually they'll grow and be connected with one another and just form a long swoop right here. And then initially, so that's our original Dianthus right back in there. And we have five of them. And I was thinking of just doing a whole cluster back there, but then I thought we have this big open area right here. So if we could just make a big swoop of the Dianthus to parallel with the swoop of the Hookahs, I think that would look nice from far away. The tree blocks it up a little bit, this little tree we have right here. But I think once it grows in, it'll be like the coral pink and then the bright pink backed by the yellow of the Coreopsis. And then when the salvia is in bloom, it'll be big and purple. So those will be all our perennials. I think that would look really nice. For the creeping time, I was thinking about right here on this rock. Because like I said, if we like it, then we're just going to go and get more. But I thought that this spot worked really well if I planted it a little back there in that empty spot. And then it crept over this sort of open area along these bigger rocks. There's like a little shelf right there for it to grow. And I thought that would look nice from far away. I am concerned though how far back this rock goes into the ground. Because if this is all just rock in here, I'm not going to be able to bury the plant far enough. So we'll see if that works when I get to digging. And then I don't think I'm going to plant any of the other plants that I showed you guys, but I will get to planting these ones right now.
All right, so I've got everything planted that I am planting today. I will show you guys around, I guess. See the final products here. So these all went into the ground pretty easily, except the ones over here, I had to use a little bit of gypsum because our clay has a lot of soil, or um, our soil has a lot of clay in it. Um, and then over there, it used to be all rocks here before we got the new landscaping done. So all over there is still a lot of rocks. So it was hard to dig over there. So had to remove a lot of rocks over there and then use gypsum over here to try to loosen up the clay soil that's here. But I think it looks nice and hopefully it fills in, in you know, the next year or two. And then we've still got a bunch of spots that we could put annuals and stuff. The last thing I planted was just this creeping thyme right here. I couldn't get it back in there where I wanted it to go because this rock did go back pretty far. So I just put it there and I think it'll come over to the left and that'll look nice. Originally, we wanted to put it right here and I was just gonna move this small little alyssum that I have in the ground. I'm gonna have it climb over that rock because from the street, you can't see all the big flowers that are back behind it. You just see the three bushes. So it would've been nice to have a pop of color just right in there, but we put it right there and I figure we can just go back to the store and get more if we do like it and it does well because they had a bunch more. And I think it looks nice for now. So that was my little haul of, well, clearance haul of the plants that we got and me planting them. Hope you guys enjoy. I will show you, I'm sure, once I put the other ones where they're supposed to go. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>